Hey guys, Tank here. I'm going to show you quickly today uh, how I solder um, bullets on the motor leads. So today I'm going to install some uh, three millimeter or 2.5. No, I think these are three millimeters um, plugins, male and female. You should always, just like batteries, always install the female version where the power is coming from. So in this case, it's going to be the ESC. And then the motor is actually going to get the uh, male version of this. So first thing you do is you fill up the little cup with uh, solder. I already got one on my handy uh, arm here. I already got one in there. Uh, I use this for years. You can get those are pretty cheap. I use these for soldering all the time. What I use for soldering is a Portosol uh, butane uh, torch. And it's a um, actually Weller um, Portosol PSI 100K. I've been using this for years. And uh, what I love about this is when I go trailing on the trail, I can bring it with me and it's got a bunch of uh, different accessories, torch, cutters, and a bunch of different stuff on there. So very useful and uh, I like using that. So first thing you do uh, is you pre-tin your wire, which means uh, put solder onto the wire. These come already pre-tinned, these are not. So these are the leads for the um, motors. I can get the camera to focus. These are not pre-tinned with uh, anything. So you have to... Pre-tinning means you're going to heat it up and put some solder on the wire before you even weld it. So let's warm up the wire real quick. And it's easier if you actually put it into the into here. And I'm going to try to put both wires in there. Because I'm going to try to do both of them. Not at the same time, but just because I'm lazy that way. Okay, so I got both wires in there. Try to turn it so you guys see. So I've actually just twisted these just a little bit so it wouldn't be messy. Uh, would look good. So you just heat up your wire a little bit and then slowly add the tin onto it and then you'll see it's actually going to go into it and it's going to bubble up. That one's done. And that one's done. So both wires are done. And they're nice and hot. So now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the little cup here. There's one that's very deep and one that's not too deep. And it's actually got a little hole there. Uh, this is where you have to put some tin into it. And it doesn't matter which one you do, they're both exactly the same. So there's no positive or negative on this, it's the same thing. So I do heat up the cup a little bit and then I fill it up with tin inside. You don't have to fill it up all the way because the wire is gonna take some room in there. And then what you can do is just keep warming up your cup and then you just dip your wire into it. And I'll try to bring you a better view for the other one. And just like that, this one's done. Now I'll try to come in and give you a better view. There we go. Now we're gonna try to fill it in. I'm on a little bit of an angle, but it should still work.
just filling up the cup not to the fullest but almost keep a little bit of heat on it and then because this is pre-tinned I can just stick it in there and she's done if you're not sure you can always heat up the outside of it move the wire a little bit but it will be set see I can move the wire now I can let go and I know that everything is nice and set in there now with these uh, you do need something to protect it and on these I've already put some heat shrink so we'll do the green one which is the blue one which theoretically is the black one when you see that the black lead going to the battery negative and the red one uh, when it comes out yellow and black that's when you know which one is positive or negative it's an easy way to know and because power is coming out of there you have to put a heat shrink on it to make sure that it does not do contact so what I do is I put the heat shrink on and then this is actually a torch at the same time and I can just go over it real quick and it will melt it and I don't have to get my uh, lighter out or turn it into a torch there we go heat shrink is done now I can do the other one it should be cooled down a little bit even if it's not doesn't matter slide the heat shrink on it and now I can just Heat it up. And there we go. Just like that, both of them are done. Now I'm going to do the, um, the, the, well, not positive, but the other lead, which is basically the same thing. You're going to fill up the cup and solder it onto the motor. And on the motor, I've also put some heat shrink. And I'll show you quickly how to do that one. I run my higher end very hot so once in a while I do clean it and I use uh, just water in uh, with a sponge and when you clean it you can see your iron is really gonna come and, and really shine so the good tip is if you have a nice shiny tip, it should work very good when you're soldering. So let's fill up this cup. And then we'll take the motor lead and just stick it in there. So I'm just warming up the cup. I don't have enough in there. I thought I did, but I don't. There we go. Ah, this is hot. So we're going to fill up the second one.
and we're going to stick the black one in there. Sorry for my fat fingers was blocking the view. You can actually try you can actually try pulling on them. If you want to try right away, you can try with a plier real quick. Do not st uh, do it here, but you can actually do it here and try to remove it. And if it doesn't move, it doesn't move. So basically when you put them in the female, they come up to here. When you put them in the female, they come up to this uh, edge. So this is why you need a heat shrink to come up to the edge of it. So that it does not short on anything. So now I can just heat shrink it, heat shrink it. And it looks like I went a little far, but that's okay. I'm gonna use my knife and uh, cut it up a little bit. No reason why I'm using green, it's because um, I didn't have the black one. So I just use the next color I had into my uh, heat shrink kit. And voila, both ends are done. Now I can stick one into there and stick the other one into this one. And my motor leads are done. There we go, we're done. One thing you gotta make sure on your truck, if ever you're doing a truck, make sure that these are long enough because if they're not long enough, the motor leads that come stock with, with the motor, you can just take them off and make these longer. It's easy to make these longer. So uh, make sure you do test the length of it in your car. Uh, I'm 100% sure it's gonna fit in mine, so I didn't bother checking it. So check in yours to make sure that the cable length is gonna be good. Or if you really want to make it neat, you can actually make it shorter also to actually make it fit perfectly into your truck. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Or if you want to see anything, leave a comment below. And thank you very much.